You know, I see people spend a lot of money on a lot of different things. And it's uh, uh, of anything that you can do, your herbs are going to be your best investment. Um, and the more you invest in higher quality herbs and and combinations of herbs, the farther that you're going to get. Um, you know, I found that over time, switching herbs around um, help me, but it's not just, a, you know, I think everybody goes into this with the idea that I've got this microbe, I need to take something to kill the microbe so I can get well. And I, the biggest thing I want to leave you with is that doesn't work very often. That's not what's happening. What we want to do is the enhance the body's ability to take care of itself, to fight off these microbes, to, to reestablish them as, as dormant. And the herbs can really help with that. But it's also, uh, you know, what you eat and how you go about life and how much sleep you get. All of these things are remarkably important. Um, so it's not the herbs alone. Um, top herbs, you know, the ones that I start people with, uh, my favorites are Japanese knotweed, uh, Chinese skullcap, cat's claw, andrographis, garlic, uh, reishi, cordyceps. Um, you know, that's my, that's my short list um, that I would suggest that everybody take 